Hello, and welcome back to round two of Forged by Geeks playing Kingdom Death Monster, People of the Skull. As always, thank you to our patrons on Patreon, just a dollar per month to get uh, some of the videos early and a bunch of other stuff. Video right when I'm, we're done with this game, I'll be enabling that. And then uh, we just put up our new Pandemic Legacy video as well, and that's still uh, sitting uh, about a week exclusive for our backers. Um, so I think we're overall good to go for round two and... Manhunter went well. Yeah, Manhunter went great. Yeah, that was great. And but now we've got a screaming antelope. Yep. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Goku is leading the way. Wait, oh, is wait. he Trailblazer? Uh, I do have Trailblazer. Yes. So we could skip that if we wanted to, which we probably do because it can move him three spaces back. Yes, that sounds good. So have um, special. But content. first, uh, we're bringing out Armin, and we had him eat one of our lonely ants. That's why I have that up on screen. Yes. So that swapped his survival and insanity so that he could actually hunt the uh, screaming, screaming antelope. Without worrying that he's going to go running off into the darkness. Okay, object of desire. Uh, the survivors see a tree in the distance, reaching up from the horizon like a desperate, gnarled hand. The players may nominate a survivor with three courage to investigate. If they do, add Lonely Tree Terrain card to the showdown setup and roll on the table. Um... One through three, start a showdown, knock down adjacent to the Lonely Tree with the priority target token. Uh, there's something unsettling about the tree, suffer two brain damage, and start the showdown adjacent to the Lonely Tree. Do we want to fuck with the Lonely Tree right now? I'm not sure. It's hard to get it to appear as part of the problem. Yeah. So that would be the, the argument in its favor. But what... Basically would get us the opportunity to show down the Lonely Tree if we wanted to and get the access to the fruits. We would probably only want to do a level one right now, I think. Well, we don't have to show down it immediately. Oh, it gives us access to. Yeah, it starts with the Lonely Tree on the showdown board, which means that we... Um... Uh, we have to, uh, basically, it's to protect the fruit. On the showdown board. On this? Yeah. No, showdown. Showdown. This board. Oh! So, um, we need the Lonely Tree terrain card. Okay. Out of the Lonely Tree deck. Which is set up... The showdown with star nightmare fruit, so we get one nightmare fruit, placed adjacent to the only tree. The fruits are impassable. Uh, the monster starts the showdown with uh, lonely fruit and monster fruit in play. If the survivors are victorious and any nightmare fruit remain on the showdown board, they gain the nightmare fruit strange resource, which is actually the lonely fruit. Um, do, 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 which I think is what actually lets us... Yeah, that lets you show down the Lonely Tree. So that would be the Lonely Fruit. <coughs> During the settlement phase, you may consume to do Lonely Lady. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, we probably want to do, do this. Yeah. Okay. So, I put this stuff back. Okay. So... One through three, you are removed from the rest of the hunt phase. Does that include the fight? No. Okay. Um, suffer two brain damage. Um, that could be useful to have on Cauliflower. If you, yeah, if you're comfortable with it. Yeah, because I have nine insanity, so I wouldn't mind dropping two. Okay. So she has three cards, right? Um, shit. It has to be a survivor with three or more courage. Okay, I've got Goku with three courage. Both of mine have three courage. Who has the highest insanity of yours? One on Saitama. Oh. <laughs> okay, Goku then. Alright. Thank you, Lewis, for the follow. Always appreciated getting a new follower. We're getting quite a few of those today. Yeah. Also appreciate if you would follow us on YouTube. Those are uh, youtube.com slash forgedbygeeks. We're pushing to a thousand to get monetized again. So we're almost there. Yep. Here we go. So this is Goku. Seven. There's something unsettling about the tree. Suffer two brain damage and start the showdown adjacent to the lonely tree. Okay. That drops him to two. All right. So that's that. So we will have the lonely tree. Yep. And then we now end up with the herb gathering event. Everybody gains one survival. All if right. If you weren't already at full. I'm at full. Um, yeah. Shit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
So now we do the uh, herb gathering. Okay, and this usually goes pretty decently for us. Yeah. All right. So probably start with four like we usually do. Yeah. This is going to be, I'll start with almond. Oh, okay. That is uh, dupes. That's a dupe. Okay. So now you have to move on to the other one. Yeah, this is Saitama. Dupes. Okay. So how much do we need just to get some acanthus? Uh, 12. 12 to get acanthus, and how much to get two? Uh, 45. Oh. Yeah. The biggest problem is is that if we get 0 through 11, then we will again on the hunt and table board before moving. Okay, I will do three dice. Okay. No dupes. And that's nine. Okay. I will do... Two dice. Two dice? Yeah. Nine? We need a lot. We need 12. Like, two dice is the best. Like, we're not... Like, we want to reduce... Oh, the we need 12, two. so we need at least three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sorry. I was thinking we only, only needed two, and with only two, one dice does it actually make sense. Because yeah. either way, you're fucked. <laughs> okay, so that's 13 more plus nine, 22. It's not enough. We gain a fresh acanthus strange resource, and all survivors gain one survival. Oh. We care. Okay, so one fresh acanthus, on to Goku. Alright, um, and before the next turn, I am going to use Sonorous Rest. What does that do again? It allows us to either rest or tune. Sonorous Rest. The survivors activate their reverberating lantern. Its unsettling vibrations cause headaches, but can drown out all sound within its small area. The group can now pause safely while the lantern remains active. Each survivor has time to either rest or tune. Rest. Gain plus two survival. Gain an additional plus one survival for each green. Okay. Or tune. Gain three insanity. Gain one additional insanity for each blue you have. Okay, I will do the, uh, the, um, survival. I am actually going to tune on Saitama. Oh, to get a little insanity. Yeah, and I will also tune on Armin. Okay. Because I want insanity. God. Yeah, you want at least a couple. Yeah. So, okay, that completes that, and then we're going to do this because it's supposed to be one event per, right? Yep. Vomit pile. Ooh, pleasant. The survivors find the half-digested remains of their quarry's last meal. Each survivor may scavenge. Gain plus one courage and roll on the table. If we do, there is a one through four archive all consumable gear. That's a bad day. Yeah, that would be bad. If we don't scavenge, then we have to roll a random hunt event. So, the problem is dried acanthus is also consumable. Mm-hmm. What can we gain? 20% chance of one understanding and one random screaming antelope resource. And you get a courage. Yes. What happens with bold during a hunt? And insight during a hunt? Because what abilities do we get, basically? Yes. Generally, I don't find them that great. Yeah. But, um... Insight, uh, when you roll on an investigate table, add plus two to your roll result. Yeah. Um, you can have a 20% chance of gaining permanent accuracy and a 10% chance of gaining permanent evasion. Um, prepared, when rolling to determine a straggler, add your hunt XP to your roll result. Oh, so same shit I have on Goku. Yeah. I'll pass on these. I was thinking I could have gotten both with Kalifa, but mm -hmm. they're not really that good. Yeah. So I guess that would be a roll on the hunt event table. Yep. Alright. And then if after this we should run into the antelope. Thirty seven. Thirty five. Thirty seven he says. Broken lantern oven. Survivors come across the shattered ruins of a small settlement. Ashen corpses dot the ruins, disintegrating at the slightest touch. An extinguished lantern oven stands intact at the center of the settlement. 
The event revealer rolls 1d10 and adds their understanding. 8. If the result is 5+, plus, gain the Lantern Oven Innovation. If the settlement already has this innovation, the event revealer harvests a Broken Lantern basic resource from the remains. Ooh! If the settlement has Song of the Brave, we do not. What that? What would that have done? 50% chance of gaining two room resources of your choice. Oh! Alright, so... Now we encounter a antelope. Yay. So that wasn't too bad. Yes. So we'll just have to suck it up with the uh, lonely tree. Yes. So. Our lo our lonely one fruit lonely tree. Yep. Okay. So we get the acanthus, six acanthus. We get a lonely tree. And I will start next to Lonely Tree with Goku. At least four spaces from the board edge. So let me lay out the Acanthus first. And we want the fruit as far away from the monster as possible. Yep. So don't forget to pull out the two cards from the Lonely Tree as well. Oh yes, thank you. The Lonely Fruit and the Monster Fruit. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay, and we get two random trains? Yes. Okay. Did you pull out the bug spot? Uh, no, I did not. Yeah, because we also have a bug spot. There's our bug spot. Bug patch, bug spot. One of these times he'll get to name his stuff accurately. Basics. And three stone columns, two salt sculptures. Unfortunately, we can't do shit with the salt sculptures. Because you have to be in darkness? Yeah. Yep. And last but not least, we also get the giant stone face. Jesus, this, like, this fucking thing is going to be like more... Um, more terrain than anything. Yeah. Yeah, this is a little crazy. <coughs> and now we get the two cards. So I need to find Lonely Fruit, Monster Fruit. There's Monster Fruit. I think the Nightmare Fruit was the mislabeled one. For Lonely Fruit. Uh, yes. That would make sense. Okay. So, Monster Fruit. At the start of the Monster's turn, before performing any other actions, if it is within five spaces of a Nightmare Fruit miniature, it full moves towards it, then if it adjacent, it consumes it, removes it from the board, and heals one move. If the monster is already fully healed, it gains plus one damage token instead. Nightmare Fruit. Uh, the Nightmare Fruit miniatures are impassable terrain. Uh, they have the following rules. Uh, spend an action to defuse it. All fruit on the board explode. All survivors adjacent to the fruit suffer damage. Uh, knockback. Gain survival, but we're planning to just leave it alone. Yeah. We okay. basically just want to try to keep the, the antelope away from it. Okay. Oh, antelope got tossed. Yeah. Jesus, this is a shit ton of terrain. Yep. One thing, if there is anything that the monster can actually not run through, we may want to try to use it to block off its path to the fruit. Actually, let's not take the giant stone face. Toppled pillar. We'll hide the... We can, uh, fuck with him that way. Yeah. Um, if nothing else, it creates a barrier next to the fruit, wherever I put it. Um, okay. The tree itself is also monster impassable. Ah, uh, it is. So we should definitely put the fruit on the opposite side of the tree. Mm-hmm. 
There we go. So we have our acanthus laid out. Oh, okay. Tree has to be four spaces away from the board edge. Right? Yes. <coughs> oh. I'll place the tree back here. Okay. Um, how the stone columns? Four spaces away from all other terrain. And instead of the giant stone face, I'm taking the cobbled pillar. So let me pull that out. <coughs> Five spaces <coughs> away from the monster. So Armin has a stone nose, so his insanity goes up to four. Okay. Oh, four spaces away from all other trains, so I'll need to relocate that. Um, there we go. <laughs> Are you being silly? A bit, yes. I'm trying my best. Nope, that won't work. There we go. Then I'll put the fruit back here. That seems best right there. It has a flat spot. They do? Yeah. Oh, fancy that. Um, salt sculptures, at least four spaces away from all other terrain. The lonely tree is terrain. Oh shit, you're right. I missed that detail, so I can't mm. do these. Alas. Like I did. Aww. It was good in concept. Mm -hmm. This is still good. This is not. Okay. Yeah, it does. It's a terrain card. Um... So let's see. Actually, I can do this now. And then I'll put that there. So if he wants to get to that, he has to run all the way around. Okay. And then this has to be four spaces away from all other terrain. Um, <coughs> nope, that won't work. That'll work for one of them. It just creates a little bit harder to cut through. Actually, no, he can't cut through. Yeah, he can go. Oh, he'd, he'd have to run over the pillar. Through the pillar. Okay. Then I'll put this here. Okay. And then, I think we just place these around edges. And... We also need the bug spot. I don't remember where that goes. It's, uh, right there. Okay. And I think that's it for all the terrain. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah, the monster can walk over the pillars. Not the toppled pillar, I think. Right? Does that say monster impossible? Impassable survivors. Mm -mm. Okay. So the monster can go over the toppled pillar. But it does block field of view, but that doesn't really matter. No. Okay. So I'll move this back there. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so we have lots of shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. So now, where do we start? On this road edge of the board. On the far edges? Yeah. Okay. Then I'm... He can walk through this. Yeah. So I'll just put that there. Um... I have seven movement on both, so three... Okay, I can get two of these. <laughs> I can't just right at the start. Okay. So... And three brain damage will be suffered. Actually, I'm going to swap these. Because then I might send Cauliflower the bug patch in case I take the three damage. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Um, we already have the monster controller, and I think we're good to go. Yeah, I can't remember. Did Saitama... Was Saitama the last person who had the monster controller? Because I think he was. Oh, yeah, so it passes to me. It pass. Okay. And we go first, or it goes first? It goes first. Almost okay. all the hunt mobs. 
Infested. Ouch. When this comes into play, monster gains plus one toughness token. Yay. He has 10 AI, right? Yeah. Um, discovering the ticks is gruesome. Roll 1d10 for each survivor. And result of the 6 plus, suffer one brain damage per monster level. Nope. 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 Draw an AI card. When a survivor ends their act adjacent to the monster, roll a d10. On a result of a 1 or 2, they are infested with ticks and gain negative 1 strength token. Yeah, this guy sucks. So, we're pretty strong and he's pretty weak. Mm -hmm. uh, bite. Closest survivor in field of view. That would be either you or me. Yeah, so we want it to be me. Okay. Uh, move and attack. He has a movement of six. Yeah, we want it to be you. Get him away from the fruit. <laughs> also, I can crit the fuck out of him, which is really, like, I mean... Good point! It's nice to get the acanthus, don't get me wrong, but I think we kind of want to just nail him to the floor. Oh, yeah. Of the fruit. Yeah. Yep, definitely. All right. Okay. I'll just uh, go first and collect some fruit. Or, or, or <laughs> I'll collect the acanthus. I don't want to collect the fruit. No! Bad Deadpool. Bad Deadpool. Uh, <laughs> okay, so with a acanthus plant, it's 1 and 2 arm damage, 3 and 4 nothing, 5 and five through 7 consume, gain survival. Um, uh, let's see. Can I reach him? No, but I can reach another one. I'm actually going to surge for my first grab. Okay. In case I gain the survival. Okay. Um. <coughs> that is a gain of survival. Okay. So I go back up to max survival on Goku. And then I dash. And use my regular action to search another one. Okay. And I suffer arm damage. Mm. Yay, arm damage. All right. And then Kalifla will basically do the same. So Surge to grab that. Oh, I get a fresh Acanthus. Nice. And then, do you think the Bug Patch or the... Uh... Is Kalifla insane? Yes. Very. It's risky to get the Bug Patch then. Mm. Because uh, the, there's that one vermin resource that requires you to eat it if you... If you're insane. Which ends in badly, doesn't it? Yes. If you are insane, you must con consume it. Archive this to lose all survival and gain 2d10 insanity. Yeah, not on this fight. No, bad, 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 bad. Yeah. Okay, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I get that. And that's regain the one survival I spent earlier. Well, you dashed and searched, right? Oh, yes. So I'll be down one. Yeah, and that applies to Goku as well. Uh, no, the Goku is... Search. Yeah, but he's down one, yeah. Okay. I'm good. Okay. Right. So... Um, and now we're far enough away from the tree, which was my objective. Yeah. So I move in with Armin. Nice. And Armin attacks with the Zambata. I hit on a 2+. plus. Nice. Hey, that's a hit. Restless Grump. Uh, I crit on a 4+, plus and I wound on a 2+. Plus. Nice. That is a crit. Uh, that's double wound or just one? Just one for this character, and I gain a Skrimi Antelope resource. Oh, nice. Organs, organs, organs. Yeah, because we don't really need to cook again, which is nice. Though it always helps to have a beef steak just because, but if I think we, we would spend it as an organ at this point. Yeah, we can spend it for the organ. Yeah, we really want those uh, uh, gloom mendies. Yeah. Oh, those would be so nice. Um, Sleek Gums. Sweet! That is our first organ. Nice! Alright, so that was the first wound, first organ. 
and the rustless muzzle. This is, is going to be a knockdown. Oh, I wouldn't go. Oh, uh... wait, I crit on him, which meant that he's already knocked down. Oh, knock him down. Because I am a great sword. Yeah, I would save the Zombato for a possible hit location on the top for a resource again. Yeah, so Saitama is going to move up. So how fast do we want to kill him? Pretty quick. I do want to get hits with each of my characters, but I, we have time. Yeah, so my choice is either to go for one hit but more luck or my axe. But then again, I also get the persistent injury automatic. So. Yeah. Alright, so with the bone axe... Got a 10. ...what I was going to hit on. Um, I have one accuracy, so I hit on a 5+. plus. So two hits. Two hits. Not bad. No. That's usually a safe amount to hit. Yeah. So I have a giant tongue and a restless muzzle. So I crit on... A, unfortunately, neither of these is a thing. Okay, so, no um, resources. I crit on a 7, 8, 9, or 10. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not holding this. 7, 8, 9, or 10, and I wound on a 2+, plus, even with the plus one of toughness. Nice, crit. crit. Which is two wounds. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because of my axe. And I, ah! resource. I do love the axe versus the lonely tree. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> I gain a screaming brain. Yes! That's Though I think game. there's something else we want to make with that. Yeah. Uh, so that cancels the wound result. And then this is going to be, again, crit on 7 plus and wound on uh, anything but a 1. Um, nice. Nine crits. So he was he's knocked down, but that doesn't matter. And, and that's only, only one wound. One wound this time. Okay. <laughs> um, he's down to six AI cards. Yes. So. Oh, and then I ended my axe next to him. So, uh, Armin, because he's infested. Yep. Uh, I did not get a one or a two, and then Psychona. Not a one or two. One or two. Okay. So. Negative one strength tokens. Okay, I think we give him a round at this point. Okay. Uh, because we really want my guys to get their checks. <laughs> yeah. And if you keep going, I might kill him with my guy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. Pass monster controller. And here is your AI card. And stand him up. Oh, hit on a three plus. Shit. He's oh, right. yeah, you have one more hit. So this is Restless Tiny Hands. Reactions are cancelled, so it doesn't matter. I crit on a seven plus. That is just a wound. Okay, so he's down to five AIs. Yes. Uh, no, he's actually down to three AI. Holy shit! Where because did I? Because he lost one from Infested. Oh, forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. So... Okay. And I no four AIs. Oh I'm yeah, you're one. right. Four. So he stands up. Okay. And he back kicks. In blind spot, closest threat in range. So who do you want him to attack? Uh, he can attack Saitama. Okay, put a Saitama in his blind spot. There we go. Uh, speed of one. Yeah. What's your evasion? Five. So, eight plus. Nope. That would have been a nasty hit, too. It doesn't hurt Oh, you could that. dodge. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, do you have anybody who is not insane? No. They're both insane. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, I will... Top results. This is a critical wound and gain one screaming antelope resource. Oh, it is. And so, it is a persistent injury, but I don't really want to hit it with my axe. So. No. So I'm going to head in with Kalifla. Okay. And I'll start with my sword. I hit on a... Dude, why the fuck did you bring the fucking harp? Terrible. Oh, yeah, that is pretty bad, isn't it? Terrible. Yeah, I so shouldn't have brought the harp. No, you should not have. Um, we were, uh, that's the problem with rushing stuff. Um, so I hit on a three plus. Okay. No, two plus, because I'm behind them. Yeah. Three hits. That's actually preferred. I would have preferred two, but that's a different story. And no problems. Um... 
all our antelope resources if I crit. Nice. But you're not that great at critting. But then again, do, is she the one that got the negative one luck? No, that's why I used her first. Okay. Um, so she crits on an 8, 9, or 10. Okay. And uh, wounds on... Oh, did we get the extra strength? Red fist? Okay, so I wound on anything but a 1. Okay. Okay, so furry tail. Not a crit. Not a crit. Wounded. Gnarled horns. Not a crit. I'm doing great. And restless chest. Not a crit. Turn the screaming antelope to face the attacker and full move forward in a straight line. Shit. Saitama is going to dash. Um, he's only got one AI left, right? Okay, and can I dash to get out of the way? No. Didn't think so. But, I can't dash to move in an attack before he does this. Yes, you could dash to move in an attack before his... Okay, Goku will on. dash okay. and surge. Okay. Okay. Going for fist and tooth. <laughs> Uh, with blood paint. Not that I'll need it. Why would you blood paint? Because oh. if I tap and did not kill him, I kill. I try to kill him again. Uh huh. Not trap on top. No. Okay, so fist and tooth. I will hit on a six plus. Okay. Two hits and another one. Oh. No trap. One screaming antelope resource. Oh. If what does dislocated shoulder severe injury do to you? You cannot activate two handed or paired weapons or use block until the showdown ends. Until the showdown ends. Yes. Okay, that's not too bad. Yes. Okay, so let's start with the restless back. Um Oh, too bad I wasn't using my club. That would have been nice. Mm -hmm. So I crit on a 8, 9, or 10, because fist and tooth. Mm -hmm. And I wound on anything but a 1. That's a crit. Uh, nothing. No resource? Nope. Terrible. And last but not least, hopefully the killing blow. Yep. Oh, that is a wound. At the two? Yeah. Oh, wow. I have I have a uh, five base strength, monster tooth necklace, red fist. Okay. No resource though. He's dead. Yes, that's what we were hoping for. Nice, quick, easy kill, and a bunch of resources for it. We didn't really get a bunch of resources. Yeah, we were hoping for a bunch. But we got the. The thing, which was nice. The monster fruit. Oh, yes. So. And I am now both a fist and tooth and a sword master. Sweet. So I will add those to the thing, and we now have the fist and tooth mastery, which will be awesome. Oh. Oh, well. What? When I attacked with the sword, I could have picked a location which might have given me something. Yeah. Oh, that, well. Yep. Oh, but now with sword mastery and fist and tooth mastery... So, Swordmaster gains a lot of shit when attacking with the sword. And Fist and Toothmaster gains a lot of shit when attacking with Fist and Tooth. Or no. anything. Fist and Toothmaster is fucking awesome. Oh, we did get Settlement Watch. Never mind. Oh, nice. I'm an idiot. Uh, so, Fist and Toothmaster. Plus Sword Mastery. And now we get some resources. Oh, we'll be done in just a few minutes. Uh, <laughs> oh, we gave the Lonely Fruit Strange resource. 
So we picked that up, which is nice. We got a broken lantern earlier. Oh, I look at the lonely fruit and I'm like, is that an organ? <laughs> no. Or are we going to use it as an organ? No, we actually want to fight the lonely tree. Mm -hmm. It is. Yes. We've got a story event coming up, which is gonna fucking suck. Oh, we do. Oh shit. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't lose our lonely fruit. Hopefully. Be steak. Nice. Shank bone. Spiral horn. Ooh. <gasps> Bladder. So we can make another helmet, and we have enough organs just from the antelope. Yep. This is awesome without using the brain. <laughs> Okay, so that's a good start. Hide. We need a little bit of hide. Love oh, juice. juice. Holy shit, we've got so much fucking love juice. Now if only we could get face painting. I know. Any. Nice. And a bone. Wow. Talk about varied resources. No shit. Holy okay. crap. Alright. Well, oh, okay. okay. Um, I need to do hunt XP. Yeah. I do not age. I don't age either. Goku's one off of next age. Uh, Armin is almost a grand weapon master. Ah, nice. Kalifla has five more fights. Yep. Uh, Saitama also has five more fights. Oh. Uh, yep. We're watching our good guys go down. Well, hopefully we will get uh, what we want. Okay, we'll be right back with the settlement event. Or settlement phase.